how are you guys? Uh, yeah, I have abandoned this channel. Why? Because inconsistency in life kicked my ass. But I was rewatching my stuff the other day and I was just super inspired to talk to you guys again because I had a good amount of you on here to talk to and to, you know, vent to and I don't know, I just, I really miss it. I'm new at filming again, so I'm like, what do I even do? Um, I've been doing a lot of like music stuff and just mental health posts for Instagram now, but I really just want to vlog my life because looking back from three to four to five years ago and seeing those vlogs and how much I've changed and how much like growth I've, I've done, really inspired me to know that even though at this current moment I feel like I'm not doing much, I've done a ton to get here. I've done a lot of self like reflection and finding and I went through relationships and situations in the last four years of my life. I wanted to update you guys. So the last you guys saw was a video I think was from Yahats, and that is a beach trip that I took with an ex-boyfriend. So there's an update. <laughs> Me and that human being are no longer together. Life is just different, and I'm just going to blame it on not actually knowing what I wanted in life, but thinking that at that current moment, that's what I wanted. Uh, I didn't get to necessarily use those years to self grow. I used those years in a way to cater to somebody else. And trust me, that's who I am, I'm caring, but I didn't know the difference between caring too much and not caring about myself. Like I didn't know the fine line. I just cared too much and it hurt at the end. Um, not because of of falling out of love or anything like that. It was more so, I fell out of love with myself. I was never in love with myself, which makes me not in love with the person I'm with. So I created this false human being in my head, thinking that everything that was wrong, all the red flags were not. That is a huge thing that I worked on. I've been through a couple long distance, I mean long relationships. I went through, you know, my first relationship was two and a half years. My second one was five years and my third one is was three years. So that happened a very, very long time ago. Probably about eight months ago, I split with, finally called it off with my ex. Um, there was a lot of issues that happened that I wanted to stick through to see, okay, well, in retrospect, you have to push through the hard times. Like, yeah, it's a hard time, but don't give up. So I never gave up. And I think that was my issue is I didn't give up. <laughs> and I saw all of the signs and just ignored them. And I've seen them for a very long time in that relationship. I wish nothing but the best for that person and um, thank you for the time. You know, like that's all I can say at the end of the day. I did move back to my hometown. I used to live in Vancouver, Washington. I rented a beautiful house out there. Um, had to leave all of the stuff that I've created, my home, you know, I had cats, I had to leave that. That like broke my heart more than anything is I started out three years. I started, you know, having, just a friendship and like a lifestyle out there in Vancouver and having to get kicked in the stomach and not like literally, but kicked in the stomach and having to move back to my hometown really kind of dampened my mood. But also I looked at the brighter side. I can save money. I can pay off my debts that I got that caused the last three years. My debt went crazy because of bills that needed to be paid. I worked two jobs when I was in Vancouver. I was very stressed out. Never got to work on my music as much as I wanted to. Didn't get to work on my uh, mental health movement. Didn't get to really work on anything. I was too busy working to pay the bills and to pay my debts and it was a nightmare. 
uh, but I always found the light no matter how dark it was. <sighs> so I moved back here and knew that I was gonna start fresh. And it feels good to start fresh knowing that you didn't get to work on yourself for so long. Uh, I got up, like, I, I lived with my mom for a little bit. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, my mom needs assistance, so I'm also a nursing assistant that takes care of her. So that is one of my main jobs, is I actually used to drive back and forth from Vancouver to my hometown to take her to her appointments and do the stuff. My mom has severe anxiety and panic disorder. She's a recovering alcoholic um, of 22 years, so a lot of stuff has just weighed on her and she no longer can do a lot of things in public by herself. She goes into a crazy panic attack. Like a lot of people will understand that and a lot of people won't. So beside the point, state, I'm a nursing assistant, a certified nursing assistant. I have been for like six years um, and it just lined up. Uh, so I take care of my mom here. So I lived with her um, for a few months, got back on my feet, paid off a lot of my debt. And uh, it was amazing. I took, I used to work for Uber Eats. Um, that was the second job I picked up. I used to do some brand deals uh, there last few months. And it really, really started getting me hopeful. I started doing more music, creating more music, figuring out a way and a, and a voice for myself. Started getting more inspired for Finding Your Mind, which is my mental health movement. Um, and I just radiated like passion and goals and ambition and i felt so good i have not felt like that in god knows how long because i went from a five-year relationship jumped right into a three-year relationship so i've been in a relationship for like the last eight years <laughs> and didn't really work on myself so i got to be single because i was like no more i'm done i can't do it so uh i wasn't hanging out with anybody i wasn't doing anything um i did try bumble and i couldn't <laughs> i just i met with some one person and i was like nope i this isn't my life i don't do this i don't like it i like to meet people organically or when the time is right they'll come into my life so i just deleted my bumble account and i was like whatever i'll just work on my on myself and out of the blue um this was a few months later of healing and really focusing on myself. I told myself I was gonna be single for a very long time until I reached a certain part in my life. But then I said, I can't put a timeline on that. I can't, you know, schedule it in. It happens when it happens. And it happened. So, <laughs> um, at random, me and my newfound boyfriend, uh, connected very organically, very hilariously. <laughs> and uh, we just became really good friends uh, to get through some hard times. And then we just realized that we are so alike. And I'm not saying just little things here that I'm talking about 95% of us, like our being is the same and it's surreal to me it kind of was like wait it's too good to be true like why what else you know but we both went through some crap in the past um but i can't tell you how happy i have been um in a relationship because that's really hard communication was really big and he's all about me and that's all that matters to me um i love that guy so freaking much i live with him <laughs> so here's an update i do live in his house he just bought. So we are creating a life together and he does have a son and he's amazing and he's so funny and he draws me a ton of pictures and makes me jewelry out of pipe cleaners and I can't, it's just, oh, it's so cute. I manifested the world and the world gave it to me. So uh, there's that update. The other updates are as you can tell, I'm nervous. Oh God, this is weird. Um, as I'm gonna be vlogging again, I really do enjoy vlogging. I really do talk, love talking to you guys. I know there's gonna be zero views on this because I'm throwing my video back out there. What the heck was that? Did you feel that? I felt that. God, if I look back and there's something scary in this, I'm leaving. 
I'm out. <laughs> anyway, um, I just now am working on a podcast. So this podcast is called Finding Your Mind and it's my mental health. I used to do a video series. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen some of the videos on here um, about depression and anxiety, all that stuff, but I'm just gonna redo it vocally instead so that I can not always have to be all dolled up to make a video because sometimes I just hate editing the video and blah, 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 and do this. So podcast, you just talk and you're good. So I already did the first episode. I will leave the link down below if you guys want to listen to it. And I'm going to work on the second one right now. Today is a pretty crazy day. I did want to take you guys around to see my whole new lifestyle. If you guys didn't know before, I didn't have any cool furniture and I didn't you know, the last video you saw was, I can't even remember. I'll have to like take a peek, but I know that I came a long way. I, I worked my ass off without feeling like I did. Like I felt like I did was doing nothing in my life, but like I look around at all the stuff. I know it's materialistic, but I look back at all the stuff that I, I have and I've got and it's, it's hard work to me. Like this, this is amazing. I was like, where's my money go? And then I look around and I was like, oh, <laughs> cameras, drones, <laughs> vinyl record. Like, I, I don't know. I have two cameras. I want to get a new one, but this is the Canon G7X. Everyone uses it. I've had it for a very long time to vlog specifically. I also have a Canon uh, T5i that I know a lot of people are like, that's so old. But paired with the right lens, the pictures come out beautifully. I have a ring light. Like, I just paid off my 27 inch um, iMac. Holy moly, I felt so good about that. Um, I needed it back in when I was doing music with a team. Um, I bought it for the team because I knew the team needed it. And that's how awesome I was. I was like, you know what, I'll go in debt, but that will be paid off because it's something that we need. Uh, we can do videos on it, you know, all that stuff that we needed, music videos, whatever it may be, we got it. Well, that ended. So I no longer am in a teen aspect. There's nothing wrong. Uh, nothing happened other than me and my ex broke up. He was the owner of that company and I just didn't see fit there anymore. I love the team. I love them um, amazingly. Uh, they're crazy artists. They're, they've inspired me and, and and really taught me a lot and I will never take that back for the world and I will never not take credit I have them take credit because I'm like whoa you guys really taught me a lot so you guys didn't even know I was in a team because it's been that long uh, <laughs> but I did a lot let me tell you what I've done <laughs> um, so yes I joined a team I will not say the name of the team it doesn't it's irrelevant now and we threw shows and I didn't have any of my own music out I still don't that's a long story. I still don't have any music out, but I did perform original songs at these shows. And these shows that we put on as a team were fundraisers. So we raised a over like six or I think $6,000, give or take, um, for different organizations. So we did one for Dorm Breakers. We did one for um, YWCA. Uh, we did one for Boxes of Love. And we also did one for Veterans Day and I can't remember the other one, but we've done a couple. Um, I got to film one of my favorite artists ever, Roulette Delgado, love you, he was part of the team. Um, he was on the Moda Center uh, for Boo Bomb, Boo Bomb, Boo Bomb. Yeah, Boo Bomb like last year. I got to film that. Um, that was beautiful. Like I did, I've done a lot of things, right? I got VIP tickets to the nutcracker got treated really well went to this freaking gala like that was all on me that was all the stuff that i've created with social media i've done a lot myself um i got a lot of opportunities and i was very thankful but i still didn't feel like myself i felt like i was trying to fit a mold that i couldn't fit because it wasn't me like you know how you're like trying to shove a triangle into a square or a square into a triangle it don't work and i'm square as shit so <laughs> um i i just i've done a lot and i know my last three year i had an update 
uh, video three, three and a half years ago about me finding myself again. But it's when I, I love the thought of finding myself, but I get into a relationship and then I just lose sight of myself. And I told myself, no, you ain't doing that shit no more, girl. Okay. And I really, really thought about getting in another relationship before thinking, like getting in one. Because I'm like, I don't want to put a damper on his life. Like, I want to make sure that I'm mentally as clear as possible. We're on the same page. Communication has to be there or it just goes south. I'm an overthinker. Like, there's just things that I learned in my last relationship that I do not ever want to bring over to my new one. That's what you should do. That's learning. That's growing. And I did. I learned and I grew and I am just in a better mindset and with a wonderful man that treats me very well. And I don't mean that just like, oh yeah, like trying to show him up. I'm being honest with you. He does the little things that matter the most to me when a lot of people do the little things and then fade it out and say, okay, cool, we're in a relationship, goodbye, don't need to try no more. He doesn't do that. We've been together almost six months. So six months this month, it is, well, what month is it? This <laughs> is uh, November. Jesus, almost Thanksgiving. Next week is Thanksgiving. Um, I can vlog that. I won't vlog the people in it because it's his family and my family, but that's really cool. So sorry if it cut off, but I want to get to the point. We're having Thanksgiving together. He offered when we were at my grandma's birthday, he goes, we'll host it. What? Okay. For one, brownie freaking points. All right. So now we're hosting it at his house. Um, I would say our home because it is. <laughs> and uh he just paid for it <laughs> and i just clean it and cook sometimes so i don't clean it all the time honestly before this i had to like run around and clean it because this house is big all right i'm not used to it i'm not used to it and i haven't i'm not used to having time on my hands so i was like i better clean this anyway jesus okay beside the point I'm gonna film a episode of Finding Your Mind on the podcast, links down below, and um, I'll either take you around or this will just be one update video because it's already 15 minutes, so this will be the update video. Um, I don't know where to start and how to start things anymore. <laughs> I don't know, I looked and I can vlog pretty well, so I just need to figure out and don't forget to vlog. Shout out to the pumpkin spice. No, oh my God, you gross. Uh, the pumpkin cream cold brew over there. Thank you, Starbucks. Still having it in November. Usually I take pumpkin out because Christmas. Um, and yeah, I want to take you guys around my office when it's finished where I'm trying to, do you see Frida back there? She's upside down. I was painting her frame. Uh, I also got this cute little mirror. It's gold. But I want to paint this wall right here that you can see this one right there. Emerald green. Would that not be sick? All right. Anyway, I will take you guys along on that little journey of kind of just making my office my office. Boom. Okay. So thank you guys so much for the endless support the past, what, eight years I've been on YouTube. Um, I mean, I haven't consistently been on YouTube. I pop in and out thinking I'm cool thinking that you guys are gonna stick around. It's kind of like if you're in a relationship and you only see them like once every two years, you ain't gonna be together no more. You know, like, come on, thoughts, thoughts here. All right, thank you guys so much. Go check out my Instagram. I am growing that mother, <laughs> growing that big and big every day. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, go check it out. It's Finding Car Maria, I'll link it down below. Also my music page is Car Maria Music. I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, I keep it on the DL. I don't really post about that on my main channel. I mean, on my main channel. Jesus, I've been a YouTuber for blah, blah, blah. On my main Instagram page. Because I just want people that are actually going to want to listen to my music. Just to follow that so I can see my audience more. Not just like, oh, I know her. You know, that kind of situation. But it's inevitable. It would happen. It will happen. But um, anyway. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. I've got a lot going on. I'm starting school soon. I'm going back to become a biologist, so that's big. I know, it's like, what? Yeah, going back to school, so I'll have like week in my life, or like college week in my life, or college day in my life, or something like that, because I know people that I love them, so that'd be fun. All right. All right, let's do this.
Bye. Have a great day. Okay. Have a great freaking day. And don't forget, I'm very inconsistent, but I'm going to try this time. Okay, bye. <laughs>